Hello everyone, Sargon Destroyer of Worlds here, and welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 2022. Thanks for joining me, and today we are going to pull out a secret weapon. We're just going to do it. We are going to have to do it, and we're going to do it right now. Yes, we're going to do it. We're going to connect these two fields because we are going to be turning this into a grass field. So what we're going to do is just going to come right across and we have come into our help menu here. Instead of limit to fields, it, it is the create new field. Let me just uh, stop here for a second. See, so allow create fields or limit to fields. So we are just going to come along the edge of this field here. So it is perfectly in line with the other field. We'll turn back around and then what we'll do is connect them. So this will just take a moment. So yes, this is the first part of our plan and our approach. Well, let's just lift this guy up. Oh no, we went a little over, but that's fine. We will just touch that up with a little bit of landscaping. Uh, well, actually, well, we can just plant the seed anyways. It's the same thing. So we'll come along here now to the top of the field. There we go. We're in line. Perfect. Now have to raise and lower the plow here because we have the create new fields option on. And we only want that to uh, occur where we're putting the new field. Now, you might be asking, why are we taking out this road? Well, you know, have discussed the fact that I will be re uh, basically decommissioning these fields at some point in the near future. But in the meantime, we're going to turn them over to grass fields. So that means we've got a few things to do. Now, we could just skip this and leave this access road in. And don't get me wrong, at some point in the future, we will likely put back in an access road. And it could be in this exact same spot. In fact, we're going to leave ourselves a little marker, aka this little patch right here. But quite simply, you know, for the here and now, this is going to be a grass field, so we can drive over that. Not a big deal. And then it also means when I go to actually redesign this yard, we're not constrained by, or at least visually, seeing this road. So it's a benefit for me. Um, little known secret, it's actually not too much of a secret. Well, you guys don't know, because I've never told you guys. But I could walk into a beautiful house and go, wow, that's amazing. And if you took everything that was in that house from a design and a build point of view, and put it into a Home Depot or a Lowe's or the like, for the life of me, I would probably have the hardest time trying to get any sort of semblance back to what that originally was. So I do like starting with a clean palette. At least in this case here, I think it's gonna be good for me. And you know what? We bought this, <laughs> we bought this plow. I, I really have to go back and look. It was one of the first episodes. Oops, uh, I can't remember. But it was on sale. I'm like, you know what? We need a plow. And I think this is the first time we're actually using this plow. So now I think it only costs us around $8,000, which is a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. When you don't have a lot. Um, and it probably wasn't the wisest investment at the time. But hey, we're using it now. And it is hard to pass up on a good deal. Now, I do really wish that there would be a great sale of a tractor of the 250 horsepower variety because we need mowing equipment, uh, specifically uh, a better, bigger baler. Sounds like a great marketing campaign. A better, bigger baler brought to you by Massey Ferguson. I have no idea if they make those, but you get what I'm getting at. 
So, you know, when you get a good deal, it's hard to pass up on. So hopefully there's a nice tractor, medium tractor. Because the balers that are in the uh, base game, and I might go on Mod Hub and see if I can find one, but they generally require, at least for the size I'm looking for, at least 250 horsepower, and none of our tractors can uh, pull that. Now, I'm sure the tractor can strain and whine and go really slow in doing it, but we need a better tractor anyways. So, for that we need a new tractor, a baler, and we need a wrapper. So, these are things that we're going to have to figure out how we're going to afford those. Because uh, we got $21,000 uh, in the bank account, um, and that's not going to pay those bills. And although we will sell likely one of our tractors, probably this Massey Ferguson, because not a fan. Not necessarily the brand, but I'll show you here in a moment. Have a look at the uh, windshield there. Not liking that. Pipe right in the middle. Okay, we just have one little bit here to do. In fact, we will come get that little bit of grass. Oh, it does not want to take it. There we go. I guess it's good enough. There we go. So that is done. Now what we need to do is get a big cultivator on the go. Apparently also run overweight because why not? So once again, we'll use the Massey Ferguson. Now this is necessary to cultivate the field before we actually put uh, grassy because we can't do that. Not saying I tried, but I might have tried previously and failed. So we do need to cultivate for the grass. So let's come along in here. Come up to the top. I don't normally start up here. Let's get it unfolded. Get it lowered. And off we go. So we're going to put that on a worker. So we're going to hop out. Hop out. There we go. Look at that. Oh, man. Okay, so we've got something else we need to get going here. And that is our stone picker. Probably should do something with all these stones we dumped here at some point, too. So when we need it, the trailer. So a lot of things need to happen. But let's grab our pickup truck and pick up the rest of our straw bales. As you can see, we've got a lot of honey there. Well, we do have three large beehives, so that would do it. So if you recall, at the end of the last episode, we did pick up one trailer load of these bales. Now we are using the Magic Auto Loader trailer. Uh, because, well, it's painful to pick these up. And it's even more painful for me to, uh, or for have you watch me trying to do that. Now I feel like we're on a bit of an obstacle course, just dodging in and out. Okay. Um, nothing to see here. There we go. All good. Yeah, that, um, yeah, you really don't get the sensation of what the truck is doing. Um, in a video game like this. Oops, not good. But that's fine. It's all fine. So what's nice is we won't need uh, to come back for any more. There we go. In fact, what we'll do is we'll unload it, restack it just a tad neater. 
Hey, you. Hey, you. There we go. I think for now, we will put them in the creek bed. I mean, on the side here, as we've done in the past. Maybe we can do a slightly better job by coming further up onto the road. Now, if you noticed, uh, we do need to change the tip side, so that is you. There we go. Okay, not, not terrible. Not the best, but we've got a lot of things that we can get rid of here at one point. But not today. You can see our tractor hard at work. So let's just find a good spot to park this. Hey, why not? Let's park this behind the beehive. The bees won't mind. Right? Okay, so next thing we gotta do uh, is we need to get uh, our sorghum crop harvested. So let's hop over to the harvester and take care of that. So what we're going to do here is we'll do a jaunt around the headland here uh, and then we'll get a worker to finish this off. Because what we also need to think about too is we need to get the stones picked off that field. You know, I will be honest, not 100% sure if that is necessary for a grass field. But I do think so because the, you know, when we go to plant the grass seed, uh, that equipment can get damaged, which is the primary reason why we use the stone picker is to prevent damage. Obviously, we can make a little money from selling the stones. Now, if we had lime on, you can... Not sure if it's part of the base game or part of a mod, but you're going to take the stones to make lime. We're not playing with lime on in this series, but it is something you can do if that is something you're interested in. But for now, we'll just try to make back a little bit of money uh, from the... Oops, this... Yeah, that's a great camera view. Love it. Perfect. Just flying the drone. No obstacle avoidance. Right through the trees. It's doing a good job, though, just plowing right through them. Whoa! And this is why you don't get cheeky. Never fails. Never fails. Oh. Somebody's blocked? Well, we went have one worker on the go. I'd have to assume he probably hit the fence and it's free now. Okay, so yeah, uh, paid a little price there for being cheeky along the uh, tree line. But we can just zoom right along here. Now, I'm hoping the tank in this harvester is big enough to hold everything that comes off the field. We will see. Not 100% certain. But if we could save a trip of a tractor coming over here. Wow, that's beautiful. Love that. That is nice. But yeah, if we could save a trip, because we have to take the harvester back to the, the farm anyways. Go right past the silo. Okay, so we'll just finish this piece here. Not that it's 100% necessary, but we do have the mobile home here. The shed. Nice deck. Where's the barbecue? Does it have a barbecue? Not interested. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe there's a barbecue over here. No. Pop uh, this one on a worker here as well. Good job, my man. So let's come over and get the wonderful job of stone picking commenced. Okay, so we can see what happened here is uh, ran out of room. But come on, man, like... <laughs> you were right there. You could back up a little, do a little, little dance, but that's fine. We will get that resolved. So what we can do is we will get 
Okay, this is my probably my least favorite job, although this is out of the base game uh, stone pickers. This is the best one. The ones, the other ones come a uh, little side swinger, and I just don't like that. Okay, so once again, get this on a worker. It's just going to be easiest for us to take care of this last little bit as we pass a uh, fellow worker here taking care of the stone picking. It's amazing how fast you can get stuff done, hire a few workers, and try to be smart about it. Uh, but we still have a lot to do, well, a little bit to do. Finish the stone picking on this field. Uh, we do need to plant the grass. Uh, and of course we have a harvester underway. But as you can see here, the job of cultivating is now done. And this is the reason why I'm not a fan of this field. Look how close that fence is. Dang you! All right, won't let me drive on his property, put a fence. All right, game of chicken here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I'm paying, uh, paying the lady, so uh, it's my equipment. That would not uh, go well. So where do we want to put this? Uh, I think we can park it back where we had it originally. But this is part of the reason why I really want to redevelop this area. But we have more pressing money concerns. But what we can do is we're going to pick up this here. Just need to make sure we turn it to grass because that would be oh so wrong. Now, I always double check. There we go. Yeah, as you can see here, turn on the help menu. You can see it's select seed, currently grass. So that is good. And we'll see how much in a single pass that this takes. Start at 600 liters. Now we have seed on the farm, so I'm not too worried, but we should close that cover. That would be pretty good. Okay, so see, we do have a bit of a... See, this is where my challenge is. I was lined up. I don't think everything is perfectly square. Or maybe just the controls are a tad sensitive. But okay. So we will do our best to keep ourselves lined up. And I think what that means, too, is going over a bit. Okay, that I can tell we missed some. So let's back this baby up just a bit and we will do overlap. It is what we need to do. As you can see by the, actually those are probably me backing up. But say look at the tire tracks. But we will overlap this, catch this corner for sure. Yeah. Not my best of driving, but that's fine. It's all good. But we will overlap because I don't want to miss, miss any. There we go. Yeah, you can see just there's a little shift there, but we've got, looks like we got it to the edge. We're fine. But I have not touched the controls. I just got my foot on the gas. Well, my finger on the trigger. It's an Xbox controller. Uh, using the right trigger button here. 
or the right trigger, I should say, to uh, speed along. And I did get distracted about how much we use in a single pass. So in two passes, we might have used, might get to 6%. So yeah, this is not a big input cost, which is good news. That is very good news. Now, the other nice thing too is that stone picker has not yet filled up, although I might have just jinxed ourselves. Oh, oh no, I did not. That is the that is the harvester. Okay, so let's do my favorite thing. Put them on a worker. They'll do a far better job while we go get a one of those trailers. Uh, find a tractor that is free. Uh, that one over there would do quite nicely. And let's go get the sorghum. John Deere and Brantner. To the rescue. Yeah, Brentner. That works. So almost the full field. You can see looks like three passes. Oh, dang. Okay. And I just destroyed part of our crop. As I was driving on this, I'm like, wait a minute. So used to doing some, uh, contracts of late and it doesn't do crop destruction so that is not good now I do think there's a cheeky move I can do to get myself out of this and that is to nuke the place from orbit sorry that was aliens um, so what we can do is send the worker um, with this tractor back to the farm I think that will mean it won't do the crop destruction. But if it does, it does. And this is on me. This is my mistake. And I could just turn off crop destruction temporarily. But we won't. Let's come into here. And we will set them. Whoa! Let's uh, take over the harvester. Okay, as you can see, no further destruction. Although it looks like when I took over the harvester because it was on a turn. Yep, okay. So uh, yeah, you can see two little tire marks there. That was me taking the harvester out of the collision. So, yeah, that is definitely on me. Uh-oh, somebody's blocked. Okay, they're good. Now, I think there is a mod where you can name the AI workers. However, unless I can actually assign Bob or Sally or Sue and okay, you do this, you do that. Like, okay, Bob's stuck. All right. Um, if you only have one worker, it's easy. But there's two workers, actually three workers currently on hire. So, not sure there's an easy way. Although I can see I do have my mini map on and I didn't really catch on to the fact that that's been on. But it does look like the worker I just set off back to the farm with the trailer load of sorghum is stuck. Yep. Don't know how, don't know why, but there they be stuck. Okay, so what we will do put them on a worker. Take back over. It's like um, that van was there. It didn't just magically appear. So, hmm. 
That was definitely on the worker. But man, look at that color. That is gorgeous. It's currently the month of October as I record this, and I love fall colors, and that reminds me of fall colors. Okay, so we will go across the bridge, down our little side road here. And we will just pull in. Get this unloaded. Kind of see how things are going on over there. Seating is going well. Oh, and the stone picking is done. That is good news. And that is now nice and empty. I think what we can do is we will just pull that here for now. The reason why we move them away from the silo is because the harvester is done. We can boot at 32 kilometers per hour. 22% uh, tank, so pretty good. I'd say that was a pretty good fruitful harvest. Now, one of the things, you know, I still need to figure out, obviously, is how much food do I actually need for the chickens? Uh, oh, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Um, Cause then we could probably sell a bunch of excess or just plant less. Although that being said, whoa, 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 breaks. Um, we are decommissioning the two front fields, so. Whoa. And we're going to have to move that one tractor because our worker is quickly and diligently catching up. Okay, so that is done. That is unloaded. We will leave the header. Just tuck it away here in the side of the field. There we go. This barn just isn't big enough. And I should eventually get a trailer for that. And the simple rationale is eventually we're going to have to... Oh! That... Nobody saw that, right? Nobody? Nobody? Because eventually, uh, as I was saying before nothing happened, uh, I will need to take the harvester somewhere besides right next to our farm. Now we have the task of putting the stones in our trailer here. Hmm. You know what? This might be where it's easier to move the trailer to meet the stone picker. That made it so much easier to line up. Yep, uh, stone picker, worthwhile investment, let me tell you. Well, the investment, as I said, is definitely saving the damage to the tractors and the other equipment. Of course, since we had the stone picker out uh, and we've loaded up the trailer, we should take the opportunity to collect the stones that we had dumped in a, well, I won't say a panic, but with some urgency. Now my front loading skills are about as good as my backing up skills, but Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. 
maybe. Whoa. We we need Oh my goodness, come on, we can do this. Okay, I need the help of the controls again. It's been a minute. There we go. Okay. Well, that took a little more uh, than I thought it would. Okay, how much? Well, now this is where, you know, it is nice to have those workers. You know, I have not played the previous uh, farming simulator games. So I believe the workers are new to FS22, which don't get me wrong, love. But, uh, yeah, my, uh, well, I need to practice. Practice makes perfect. All right, there we go. All done. Now, speaking of almost all done, <laughs> this tractor is desperately needed fuel. So I think what we're going to be doing is next episode, we're going to have to get this to the gap. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Silly me. Let's go say hi to our neighbor, the gas station. I was thinking we had to go to the store, but this is our first time gassing up. That'd be embarrassing. Okay, I'm not sure which is which. Okay, finally got it. Uh, it's very sensitive. It's probably needs to be well positioned by the pump. So on the Xbox controller, it is the left joystick depressed or with the keyboard it is the R key at least how I am currently have my key bindings but now thankfully we no longer have to worry about uh, for the time being at least running out of fuel in this John Deere so with that I would like to thank you for watching uh, very busy day and until next time bye for now